going to do you are going to do question uh, us, us going to give me at least uh, one, one question or oh, madam to be serious those matter capita was that you're going to prepare one question huh? Okay, <laughs> let's do another question. Uh, Toastmaster Toby, you want to uh, give me another question later on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this thing is Toastmaster. This thing is Toastmaster. We can see it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thank you very much, Mr. Toastmaster. Fellow Toastmaster and guests, after Saudi Arabia, do you want to start your own business and be an entrepreneur? Yes! It's not recording, sir. It's not recording? You have to press the button. It's not recording. 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 Okay, I'll go ahead. Thank you very much, Mr. Toastmaster. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, after Saudi Arabia, are you going to start your own business and wanted to be an entrepreneur? Yes. yes! If you do, then you love being a salesman and saleswoman? No. Do you love sales? Yes. Yes, yes. no. Depends on the sale. How could it be that you wanted to be a businessman or operating a business and you don't want to sell? When you wanted to be a very successful businessman, you should always sell, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Now, the question, how about here in Toastmaster? Do you want to be sales? Or it is important in Toastmaster to have the skill of a salesman? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mr. District Director, was that, is it necessary that all of us here in Toastmaster to be salesman? Yes. Yes. Well, the answer is yes. Because all of us, are generally salesmen in some way or another. And here in Toastmaster, we have salesmen because we have to sell our club. Imagine if you are not going to sell our club, you will have only a club with one officer and one member. You are the president and you are also the member. We have also a club where the members are the family. Imagine if you have a club like that. So here in those masters, even our program, our assignments, our projects are geared around that persuasive approach. In those masters, we are trained to be salesmen because we can have only a very exciting meeting when we have a lot of active member participating. The question is that how can you sell? And what is the product of those masters? The singers are saying, what is the product of those master? Good leader and good leader. Good leader of community. Is there any other answer? Educational program. Educational program? Membership. The only product we have is the those masters meeting. Now, if our product is those masters meeting, how are we going to sell it? Well, fellow those masters, today we are going to at least look at how we are going to sell. But every salesman will tell us that if the product is very good with all the benefits and added value to the customer, especially if it answers the problem that they will have, that product itself sells. In other words, it doesn't matter if you are a weak salesman or not. When the product is good, it will sell. No question. If our product is the Toastmasters meeting, how are we going to sell it? Quality. Yes, quality meeting, isn't it? In other words, you should have a standard meeting in order for us to sell it. And what are the things that we are going to remember? Well, these are the standards that we should always remember. One is what? We should always start and end on time. Not like what we are doing, what we are doing today. We started what? 30 minutes late of our meeting. Why? Because here in those masters, especially in the Middle East, in our part, all of us are busy, especially when you are a family. And it is 
the reason why our, most of our Toastmaster could not attend Friday night thing because they are saying that it is family day. What is number two? Participant. Number two is that all the participants should be coming on time and ready for their duties and their responsibilities. That before the Toastmasters meeting, we have to confirm the role player at least seven to five days. Isn't it? And that's what we are doing. What we are going to do? All the club officers fulfill the responsibilities and they should be aware of it during the meeting. And that's why before we are going to do the meeting, we have another what? <laughs> crowded meeting because we are going to change the agenda of our meeting if the players are not around. And then, what is it? The that there is always be a meeting where there is no gap. There is no lag. When an individual is called, he know how to he knows how to approach the lectern. And when he is in the lectern, he is going to control the meeting, and that he is going to give back the control of the meeting to the person that introduced him. This is how we're going to do that. And then it is the last. Members that the members, members are enthusiastic. And we can feel it. When the members are interested and enjoying the meeting, then it is contagious that all other members, participants, including the guests, will also be contagious. And then, what is it? We are going to make sure that all our projects is based on our pathways. That the role players are done according to what it is required. Because, for example, if I am the Toastmaster, and in the beginning of my Toastmastering, I will use 30 minutes of my time introducing only the theme of the meeting. Then, how many regular speeches is it with these 5 to 7 minutes? It's better for you to do the manual speech instead of being a Toastmaster, isn't it? Because it will add one. DCP to your club. Now the question is that how will I do this? As a team, we have to go together in order for us to make sure that all the standard is met in every Toastmasters meeting, isn't it? Yeah. Now, if the invited guest is already interested in our Toastmaster, what will be the next step? The next step is to close the sale, you see? We are going to close the sale. So when you are going to close the sale, it is very important that you have to remember this. According to the two authors, Robert Millers and Stephen Heyman of the strategic selling, when you close the sale, there are different outcomes. But as far as those matters is concerned, one of these is the outcome of closing the sale. And what is the first one? Win-win. What is win-win? When, when your prospective member joins the club, it is a win. Because he is going to start his personal educational development. He is going to learn more skills. And it also a win for the organization because a new blood is coming into the club that will add vitality to your club. But there is also another outcome. And what is that? Win-loss. Win in other words, a member joined the club but did not continue for a long relationship, meaning join, and then after that, he's lost. He doesn't know what to do. And because he doesn't want to, he doesn't know what to do, he is going to what? Absent next meeting. And he is not anymore going to attend the next meetings. So what happened? We have a win, but we lost that number. Why? What is the reason? Because we lack mentorship. So in order to continue, there should be a very active mentorship in the club. Because without guide, the new member will just disappear. But there is another outcome. And what is it? <laughs> when a new guest or a guest come into the club and leave the club without being a member, then that person lose the opportunity to develop himself and learn from the people like you. And also, 
are plugged loose because that additional what member additional skill and additional ability additional talent will be lost and will not be seen by the club so what we're going to do to make sure that we will have a win-win <laughs> we're going to make sure that we close the new member the best way that we could and how to do that we have to discuss the benefit of those lessons, isn't it? So these are the benefit of those lessons so that that member that is already interested, you have already done your closing, will exactly understand us. And what is the first one that we're going to tell that particular guest? Huh? That he is going to, that the member should join those master's club, improve the speaking skill. 80% of those masters members who joined at those masters club joined the club because they wanted to improve their communication skills, isn't it? Yes. And how they do, did it? They did it by taking out of their arms and arms. Yes. They become good business presenter. They become what? Huh? They use their vocal variety. They display not only their body language, but also their gesture. And that's what we wanted, isn't it? What are the other benefits that the Toastmaster wanted to learn by joining our club? What is it? Huh? Yes! To develop that leadership ability is the best quality that you have. Because in one way or another, you will be given an opportunity to lead, isn't it? In workplace, maybe you will be asked to lead a uh, discussion, an opportunity to train others. What are the others? The opportunity to even organize a birthday party or a wedding anniversary, isn't it? But here in those masters, our leadership is being honed how by doing the those masters meeting leadership like a grammarian table topics master and other ethos master what more what are the things that we're going to do huh social skills. yes it will be a better social skills when all this gadget according to ethos master is already around uh, what will happen we will have uh, what huh? <laughs> we will have a robot participant in those master no because here we are going to do face-to-face -face meeting we will have personal, interpersonal communications, isn't it? We are not going to learn only in books, but also be given an opportunity to talk, to give evaluation, also to receive what? Acknowledgement, cooperation. What more that we are going to do? Well, we have greater self-confidence. It is in the very, very mission of those masters. It is by this communication and leadership skill that we are going to develop what? Greater self-confidence. Huh? Greater self-confidence self and personal growth. And this is very, is indeed necessary. So what we are going to do in order to make sure all of this? Now the question is that when we have already given them huh, the closing, also discuss the Benefits, what's the next one? We have now to ask the prospective members. What is your opinion? Maybe he is still hesitant. So if he is still hesitant, then we're going to use our persuasive skill to close. And to close, we have here the acronym close. What is the acronym? Close. And the C is for yeah. So what to compare? Imagine here in those in Saudi Arabia, if you wanted to have your training, where sometimes the big corporation bring their people for training, they send them to Dubai. to Dubai. You are going to pay for the ticket, you are going to pay for the hotel, and you are going to pay for the meals for a three meeting where most of the time our participants will be sleeping. <laughs> So, for a fraction of that cost, in those master, how much you're going to pay for six months training? $60. Only $60 or $10 every month. 
Is it very costly compared to this three days uh, training in Dubai? No. No, isn't it? So comparison of the cost of master is very efficient. And then what is letter L in close? Mm -hmm. huh? Now yeah. the question is that if you join those master, what you're going to lose? Anybody? Huh? Yes, something is lost. You are going to lose your fear of public speaking. That is the only thing that you're going to lose, isn't it? Your fear of public speaking. And out of that loss, you're going to gain what? Self-confidence. Isn't it? You are going to uh, learn communication and leadership. Now, what is O? Opinion. <laughs> as far as you, you can... What is the opinion? Now, you are going to ask the perspective. You have already given you the benefit of those masters. You have already attended the those masters meeting and they enjoy it. What other things you wanted? Ask him what is his opinion? Because all what you have given are all positive. Yes. I think what, what what he is going to take about it. Money is already being discussed. So after all, what is the next? Story. Yes, S is for what? <laughs> story. And what is the story? We're going to tell them what happened when the Toastmaster joined the meeting. We're going to tell him about uh, Madame Toastmaster uh, Pritpal. Huh? To join Toastmaster and we saw her competing in the in Toastmaster, the third uh, world champion of public speaking in the United States. Yes. Can you do that if you are not a member of Toastmaster? No. We can give them members of our club, including me, that because I joined those masters club, been promoted and given races. So you wanted to be promoted? You wanted to have additional salary? Then join us in those masters. And what is E? Example. example. What is the example? That if you are going to join those masters meeting now, you are going to join a those master organization that been here for 100 years that your name will be listed in all the Toastmasters club all over the world and you can join them. That immediately your Toastmasters uh, online magazine will be sent to you. That your portal will be ready and all will be recorded and all other, what? On-demand training will be available to you. Isn't it that it is necessary? With all of these clause, do you think a guest is will say no to those masters? No, of course, isn't it? So it is a great help for us to have a new member and it is now the time for a vice president education to do it. So that he is going to make sure that all these formalities will be available. Make sure that the new member should accomplish the application because this application has to be signed and it should be kept in the secretary of the club, isn't it? We are also going to make sure that we have to identify, understand what kind of member it will be. For example, in, o, in OMG Toastmasters Club, we are admitting members who are dual supposed to be, isn't it? If you are not a member of the club, you cannot be admitted in OMG Toastmasters Club. And of course, the new member has to pay the fees. And the, who is going to explain it? If it is not the treasure, at least the BP membership, isn't it? Now, we have also to understand who is the sponsor. Why? Because the sponsor will be recognized by Toastmasters International. And here in our club, we are also going to give him an award if he have recruited so many members for our club. But I think what is important is this. Out of so many benefits and techniques and how to close the club. What is very important is the enthusiasm of its member. Because if all of us will be sad during our meeting, uh, as if that you did not sleep the whole night uh, yesterday, yesterday uh, you could not even stand up straight. When you are called into the uh, club, you are like 60 years old, uh, uh, that you could not anymore uh, what? Hold your feet to move forward. Then do you think a member will join a club? No. no, of course. 
first, we are going to make sure that we are always full of energy and enthusiastic. Because when we are enthusiastic, then we will add the techniques that we've given to you in how to close and also the C O the C L O S E in closing. When we have vectors that will guide every Toastmasters member that we have and all the materials that we will have, all of these will equal to what? A win-win opportunity of recruiting a member. And when we recruited so many members, then our club will have an opportunity to have a very energetic and very educational meeting because there are so many active members participating in the meeting. Question, do you want now to be a salesman and close so many new members to our club? Yes. <laughs> now before I will say goodbye, is there any question? Question, when will be the lunch? <laughs> DTM Kavita, is there any question? Thank you so much for our presentation, DTM. Uh, as you said, enthusiastic, there's a real meaning. Actually, you are the enthusiastic person in the club, so always can to meet uh, other your meetings. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Actually, What's the question? why it is called closing the sale? It increases, we are just doing the sale. Uh, how to promote the sale? Like that, we have to keep the topic, right? Why it is called closing the sale? Yes, because if you are not going to close the sale, you are not going to recruit. You know, if somebody is going to tell you that this water is very good and it will uh, quench your thirsts and uh, it is only very cheap, but if you are not going to tell, to ask him, are you going to buy? Or give me the money now and I will give you change. Yes. <laughs> then you are only doing an explanation, but you could not sell this. So in order to close the sale, somebody has to pay and you are going to give him or her the bottle of water. Yes. In other words, if all of this enjoy the club meeting, when they come and they become a member, then it means that we did not close the sale. So when we say close the sale, the deal is done. Meaning the deal is done, we have a new member, and the new member are happy because he is going to start his training and self-development. So that's why we call it close the deal. There are so many people that are ashamed to close the deal because they are not salesmen, isn't it? But if you are born salesmen like the many Toastmasters that we have here, the only trophy that you will have is to make sure that you have sold the item. And to sell the item in those masters is to sign them up as member of the club. Thank you very much for all of you and let us recruit as many people in our club and have a dynamic Toastmaster club, the OMG Advanced Toastmasters Club. Good morning.